If every unit had an Angela Davis, we'd be better off. She was a very dynamic person. She's tried to engage other patients, you know, to get involved in support groups and all kinds of stuff. She's like a little whirlwind. Angela is the first to help other patients. Being a patient herself, she has that advantage discussing with uh, other patients what's going on, changes, adjustments that have to be made in the life. Coming from Angela, it has far greater impact. Angela's magic comes from Angela. She's bubbly, she's energetic, she's independent, she's faithful, she's honest, she's straightforward, and she has something she wants to do, she's strong-willed. Several years ago, I did receive a letter from Angela Davis, and the letter said, I have certain ideas about how I can help patients who are in West Nassau Dialysis Center, and she wanted help. I think her involvement in her organization and her participation in the center has driven patients to be much more inquisitive, um, to want to be more knowledgeable about what's going on. The name of my organization is For Kidneys Sake. Our mission is to provide recreational events, social events, and activities for chronic kidney disease patients living on dialysis with the goal of decreasing incidence of isolation and depression. She's trying to get people to be more social and meet new people, so the people that can relate to them. In the renal community, we've known for a long time that patients are prone to depression and feeling of isolation. And Angela actually is trying to do something about it. I held a spa day. It was a day of beauty, a spa experience. And I had a patient come to me and say, in tears, I have not left my home in two years for any other reason than to go to dialysis or go to a medical treatment. I hope that this award sheds a light on the issue of the psychological impact that kidney disease has on the individual because no one is talking about that and that is a real issue. It affects people psychologically and this is why they're in their home not doing things because they can't afford to go to a movie when they're trying to figure out how they can pay for their prescription. I'm seeing that patients are beginning to have fun that just because they have this disease doesn't mean that they have to stay in the house and not socialize with anyone. Angela is really great. She can make anyone move, and she made me move. She made me get up and notice what, what I needed to do to make myself better. I want dialysis patients to know that this moment, that very moment you have right now, you feel sick and you feel weak, but you have a purpose in life. There are many days I don't feel like moving, many days I don't feel like smiling, but when I walk in that dialysis center in pain, weak or whatever, game on. The main thing you have to understand is you have the illness, but the illness doesn't have you. You don't stop living, you need to live every day of your life like it's your last day and just enjoy life, do everything you can do for that day.